Hello and welcome to The One Show with Alex Jones and Matt Baker. Now tonight we are joined by two Latin American legends, both heartthrobs in their different ways, with millions hanging on their every word. Yes, and it is big news in Barry Island where they can't make up their mind who they're more excited <laughs> about seeing. Black cats and voodoo dolls. I feel a premonition. That girl's gonna make me fall. And breaking news, breaking news. This just is. She'll make you take a cloak off. And she'll be dancing in the ring. Come on! She's riding to be away for me. I'm in that boy in the forest. Looks like a bullet to break. Don't lie! <laughs> Please welcome from Puerto Rico, Ricky Martin. And from Argentina, via Bridgend, Hugh Edwards. <laughs> Listen, there we are. What a combination on tonight's programme, isn't that wonderful? It's a lovely beautiful. sandwich. Pretty nice welcome, I've got to say. Yeah. We love Barry Island, don't we? We, we love do. Barry Island. Yeah. Well, we were going to say, great effort from the people of Barry Bedos, as my nephew calls it. Yes. Um, now, here... Oh, you've gone ever so Welsh. There, all of a sudden. You did, you just went ever so well. She's gone even Harry. more ever so well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, could you explain Barry Island to Ricky in case he'd like to go there on his holidays? Ricky, this is the perfect holiday destination. Forget all the exotic places you've been around the world. You've spent a fortune <laughs> on these, the Seychelles, the Maldives, I know you have. Barry Island is the summit of luxury holidays. <laughs> and for me, having been in many Sunday school trips to Barry Island, it Same. was actually the highlight of my year for many years as a child. Where okay. did laugh? I I'm recommend to say, Ricky it. can't work out why people are laughing. They're laughing because <laughs> no, they're laughing. Here, they're laughing because they have no taste. Well, and they, they've, they've probably never <laughs> been yeah. there. They've never been. <laughs> they've never been. <laughs> now, Ricky, yesterday we had a big holiday, a bank holiday yesterday yeah? in Britain. Um, and is it right that there, there was a move to try and get an international Ricky Martin Day. Is that true? Have you An international Ricky Martin Have you heard of this? Yeah, like an international holiday. Ricky Martin Day. I don't know, but I like the idea. I don't yeah. <laughs> well, we thought it was... We I thought so, know, too. I... I... That, um... No. You know, the things that you read nowadays <laughs> in social media... <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wouldn't... I wouldn't mind at all. OK, well, there we are. Maybe it's been launched this evening. Maybe there we are. If you could uh, pick a date for it, which day would it be? You know, I, I, my birthday is December 24th. Sounds so perfect. So it's December 24th. Perfect. There we, I think yeah, we launched it. Two days to throw back to the party. Tonight's 10 o'clock. Nice news at 10. Wow. We yeah. launched it. Yeah, breaking news. Yes. Breaking news. Yes. Breaking news. Feels like a lead story to me. <laughs> my birthday yeah. is now officially Ricky Martin Day. Ricky Martin Day. <laughs> uh, well, back in the day, Ricky, of course, was famous for his leather trousers. It's a shame we can tempt him into some tonight, but there we are. We did try. However, some people still love to wear them. Yeah. Are you all right about talking about leather trousers, Ricky? Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at me. Leather, leather, leather trousers. Well, the thing leather is, underwear, that's a different... Oh, a very different thing. Version. But you've moved on from leather trousers. Some people, You'd against be their better judgement, still like to wear them. I've got a lovely champagne pair in the cupboard. <laughs> They're my favourites, actually. Anyway, uh, we would like to see you in your leather trousers this evening, either in your hair day or even better... Go and get them out of the wardrobe right now. Pull them Put on. them on, take a picture and send it in. And we will show some of the best or the worst. Maybe they'll be more entertaining yes, a little bit later on. We will. Um, it was great, um, actually. Was uh, Ricky, you're uh, from Puerto Rico but mm -hmm. living in America. Yeah. And apparently there are more Puerto Ricans living in America than there are in Puerto Rico. Um, but, you know, being He's... somebody who lives away from home then, mm -hmm. does it make you more patriotic, you know, more hung up maybe on traditions and trying to preserve them? Without a doubt. And now that I'm a father, even mm. more, I bring my music, my food everywhere I go. I, I think that um, my language is very important. Mm. Obviously, we're very influenced by America in politics and in yeah. music, in my case, in music. But just... The comfort of, of your mother tongue, the comfort of your memories of growing up 
Mm -hmm. It's a very small island. Mm -hmm. the, the, tropic, the tropical breathe is, is something that we, I, I hold on to. And you, you, with your family, I mean, you have five children, mm -hmm. don't you? And you speak mm -hmm. to them in Welsh a lot around the house, even though mm -hmm. you don't, no longer live there. Mm -hmm. And you speak to them in Welsh and they answer you in English to keep... They do, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the big battle in London terms, <laughs> is to, keep, to get a conversation going. So <laughs> yeah. their level of vocabulary is fantastically good, but it's a big battle, actually, to get kids to converse especially yeah. in, a, in an area where you don't have maybe the support of a, a school or, you know, we certainly don't have that where we live mm. in London. So, mm. you know, th it's a battle. But, it's, you know, it's worth making the effort yeah. because ultimately it's your identity totally. um, yes. and it's who you are. Absolutely. So you, you, you don't want to lose that. My, if my kids speak English to my mom, she'll be, how dare you? In Spanish. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, well, you can empathise with that. Yeah, we've, we've, yeah. We've, yeah. we've got some Welsh tea here. Yes. That's why I'm drinking it's it. Welsh Welsh tea. Yourself, you've got a brief and all. Go for it. Uh, well, Patagonia with who you've got through. <laughs> uh, well, Ricky, you're doing your part to promote uh, Latin American talents because you've got this new American TV show. That's right. In Cahoots with our very own Simon Cowell. Right. Um, it's called La Banda. It's called La Banda. Isn't it? mm. Now, you can't take part, Matt, because it's in America. I know. Um, <laughs> but what are you looking for? <laughs> you're young, you can. Come on, it doesn't matter. Thanks for a It's key. diverse. It's <laughs> uh, what are you looking Theme. for then in, in your contestants? Lots of talent. So a few months ago, I was rece received a phone call from Simon and Ricky. Let's let's do this. Let's do this together. I think it's important. I started my career in a boy band, and uh, and right now there is a massive gap musically uh, for a band like this, not only mm. in Latin America, but I would say in the, in the world. Well, that was that was. That was not when I was 12. No, no, no. <laughs> but we, we, do, we do have a little trip down memory lane for you, Ricky. Because, I cannot uh, wait to see what you For all those people are like, oh, Ricky in a boy band? He, here he is. No Extra way. Ricky. Really? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but your, your music career has gone on and on and on from then. People yeah. will be delighted. Hey, you will love this. Ricky's got a new single out. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to hear it. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> I had the opportunity to perform in, in Britain's Got Talent, and the audience had it was a very beautiful reaction. And then in social media, the reaction that I received uh -huh. from every, everywhere. Here in, in, in Britain, thank you so much. I'm very happy. Oh, very happy is this there. a taste of things to come? Because it's been a while, hasn't it, since you've done yeah, a, I, actually, an English album? I just released a Spanish album, and it's doing fantastic. Yeah. Uh, not only because of the sales, but also the critics. I'm, I'm very happy with the reaction. And uh, and right now, I'm on the road. I'm I'm doing my one world tour. Hmm. We started in New Zealand, Australia, and now we're going to Mexico. We're doing the United States and Canada. Hopefully, we'll be back before the year is over to the UK. But um, but um, I am recording my English album in a very unique way. It's mm -hmm. something that I've never done. I, I am not going to lock myself in the studio as I used to for an entire year to look for music. When music when Muse shows up, yeah. I call my manager, rent a studio. I'm ready to go in. Really? And it's been very nice. So it's, it's very been, reactive, and it just yeah, feels like you at the right time. Come with though. your instincts, and yeah. and uh, and I'm not forcing anything. It's just no. happen, happening mm -hmm. very organically, and, and and I'm loving it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you've had such a vast career, obviously, with different music. I mean, you know, with musicals, because you were in La Mis, weren't you, and a Vita and all of that, uh, on Broadway. Broadway. Yeah, and and I would definitely would love to go back. And I would. Would to, you? I would love to do some theatre here in the West End. Oh, there we are. Oh, there we are. I'm just throwing it out there to see what, what happens. What would be the role for you, Ricky? What would be the ultimate? I would love to do a one-man show. Okay. Like something that I would take time and create something very special. I, I would tap into comedy and obviously into dancing and something classical as well. Why, why not? Mm -hmm. Am I saying too much? Right? No, 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 this is... Be honest, <laughs> Ricky, this is the show to do it. Okay. You the... show, so, you know. um, but you, I'm just throwing it out there. Have you ever knowingly danced to a Ricky Martin song here? Well, actually, there is that massive eight million seller that you did in uh, the Mad Life thing that you did in 1999, yes? Living La Vida Loca. Loca. Yes. Living La Vida Loca. Loca. That Crazy reminds life. me of the birth of my third son. Actually, because that was the that was the big hit at that time. So I always think of him when I hear that song. So it's a very nice Aww. gift that you give. Oh us. my God! Thank you very much. Yeah. I would I would I would love I would love yeah. to I would love to know what your son thinks about that song. I think he's a bit young for that. I'll have yeah. to play it to How old is he? He's uh, no, 15. 15. 15. He's 15. He's perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He's going to be he's going to be watching this and he's going to be wanting to kill me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right now.